This next question is, is based on a statement of the Apostle Paul that I found very, very powerful as a young believer. And to this day, I often refer to it. And so I'll be delighted to try and explain what Paul meant by it. Here's the question. Can you explain what Paul means when he says to live is Christ and to die is gain? The exact quote is, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Now, perhaps the thing that sticks in the craw of the questioner is, what in the world do you mean to die is gain? Well, let's start at the, at the beginning with this statement. The Apostle Paul says, for to me to live is Christ. Now, sometimes you'll, you'll hear people talking about a, a brilliant athlete, and they say, they'll say things like, well, a football is his life. Or sometimes uh, somebody might complain about a, a, a husband being an absentee husband and an absentee father, and they'll say things like, well, business is his life, M making money is his life. Well, it, rather than saying football is my life, or saying that making money is my life, the Apostle Paul says Christ is my life. Now, what does he mean by that? Well, what do we mean by football is my life? Well, my thinking is governed by football. My interests are governed by football. My time, my disciplines. In other, in other words, the, every aspect of my life seems to hinge on or spin around football, etc., etc. That's what Paul is saying. Paul, Paul is saying, I have discovered that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Well, that, that becomes fundamental. He, he also believes that the, the word that Jesus taught uh, is, is truth. And, uh, and so he, he is anxious not only to uh, center his thinking about Christ, but he's also anxious uh, to know what Christ taught. But more than that, he knows that Christ died and rose again and offers to send his Holy Spirit into all who are repentant and will receive him by faith. So Paul says, well, well I've done that. And, and, and the scripture said that if he does that, he'll know redemption and the forgiveness of sins and grace will be lavished upon him. So Paul says, I live in the conscious enjoyment of being redeemed and I know that I'm forgiven and I have grace that is more than able to meet all the demands and all the needs that I have as I go about my life. So he said, in actual fact, I am content, I am secure, I am involved, I am empowered, I am enriched, I am full of joy, I am full of gratitude. This is my life. Christ is my life. <laughs> he says, well, one day I'm going to die. And they says there's something rather pleasant about that. Well, he says, one thing, of course, about dying is that whilst the actual dying may be extremely painful and horrible, the, the, the actual death is actually an entrance into eternal glory. So in that sense, it, there's some gain to dying. But not only that, the Apostle Paul says, whilst I've, I've talked in glowing terms of my life in, in Christ, I have to be perfectly honest. Uh, I, I have got shipwrecked a few times. I've been bitten by snakes. I've been imprisoned. I, I've been lashed with the lash more, more than once. Uh, I've been hungry, uh, I've been homeless. Uh, he said, I, I've lived a rough life. And the good thing about dying is this, no more homelessness, no more snakes, no more shipwrecks, no more pain, no more anguish, no more people disappointing me. It's going to be glory. So in actual fact, in that sense, to die is gain. So here's how it goes for the Apostle Paul. If I go on living focused on Christ, I am living a full life, but it has its problems. But when I die, I will enter into eternal glory and all those problems will be solved. And so now it will be Christ without the downside. And that means to die is 
Go ahead.